How's it going everyone? My name is Dave and welcome to another video and the final episode of the four pillars of education series that we had going on. So it took me a while to think of a couple of the terms but so far we've hit on the other three pillars in which order would be to learn, to do, to live together, and to be, which is the one we're talking about today. Too many twos in that statement, probably, but eh. <laughs> so, to be connects a lot with the to live together aspect, and this is more from a visual um, analyzing type of standpoint rather than the actual definitions and goals of them. The goals themselves are slightly different enough to where they can categorize differently, but when they're put into action in reality, they're basically the same thing. Let me, re let me explain why. So the goals to live together specifically is kind of the idea part of it, whereas to be is to present it on yourself and apply it to yourself specifically. The first is to apply to others, the other is to apply to oneself. But in the grand scheme of things, on a mental standpoint, they kind of could go either way. Um, I, I, I mean, I get why it would go the one way, because to be able to apply that, you have to first be... Uh, it, it's like the idea of, like, um, to love oneself. You have to want love oneself before loving others. But the reality of that kind of aspect as well is that um, if you're going... If you, most of the time, people have a tendency to fall for others before loving oneself but the reality of that is if you're loving aspects about that other individual that's something about you that you have not quite discovered in yourself yet um take pink fox and i for example um our humors are for the most part the same there are some differences but the serious aspects of things did at first differentiate by quite a bit when we first met each other. Ideals weren't that far off, though. It's just the approaches. And there were some approaches of myself at the time that I just didn't like. But I act going into spending time with her, I actually started to appreciate them about her, which in the long haul ended up making me appreciate it about myself. Um, so in turn, that puts the to live together before the to be. You become oneself by connecting with the others. But the only way to do that is if you do it in that particular order, listed in the pillars list in the order it's presented. But with that being said, what is it about to be that makes it so different otherwise? Well, when you finally develop something you're aiming for, an exact person type you want to be to the dot, if not to the dot, and at least a general idea of it, once you have that aspect figured out, you pretty much completed the live together part because you always have help out there. And people out there who will help build that on you. Once you have that solidified, you have an ultimate goal to get to a certain point for yourself. That's for you to become a be, you to be become a person that you desire to become. The idea of to be is to develop. Now, being that these pillars were meant for elementary, originally, there's no way, it, it, like, I don't know, put it this way, there's a reason that a lot of elementary schools who actually have presented it, which a lot of them have, usually go by the aspect of to do, to learn to do, to live to be. They don't say to live together, they just say to live. And the reason for that is understanding. These words can all be pre uh, de presented completely differently. 
this one specifically definitely could, especially since the idea is basically development. And since this is like the end of that road, it's presenting the idea of your final development. What are you going to become? Who are you going to become? How will you have an impact on you and your own life? In a way, it's actually kind of in the guidelines of the fourth pillar of education is more of a guideline of uh, and a reminder of saying hey don't forget about yourself build yourself up and it's a very in my opinion it's a very 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 important pillar of the four now don't get me wrong all four are extremely important you can't have the other three without the first one. You can't really have the third or the fourth one without the first and second one. It's kind of like a staircase to victory. And this final one, to be, is the one that kind of is that trophy at the top, waiting for you to collect, waiting for your achievement of going through your own life the way you have laid it out for yourself. It's the achievement earned for succeeding in that. Now bear in mind, not everybody ends up successfully going through all these four pillars, but that's usually under the front that they never try to worm their, they try to worm around the to live together aspect of it. As important as to be is, it needs like structure. And if you skip any of the other three, to be just becomes difficult. Because you can't develop on something you don't know. And a lot of people struggle with that. To be, it may be one of those that, that seem the sim that are the simplest, but it's also simultaneously the most complicated because of this fact. There are several people out there who haven't surpassed that point yet or tried to skip ahead to it, but there are also several people out there who have successfully done all four steps and are living a great life. This particular aspect is very important to me. Now, I did not know much about the four pillars of education until about late elementary school, I believe. But that's because I bounced from elementary school to elementary school multiple times in my life. In fact, I can't even name all of them anymore. I can only remember, like... Who am I kidding? I can't remember the names of any of them at this point. <laughs> but I do remember the appearance of one of them while finishing up elementary school. Had images of four different pillars with those ex exact words on it. The one that stuck out the most to me was the one we're talking about today, to be. To become something that you want to become. To develop. In my opinion, it's a very important step. It's a very good analogy of a finalized life. It's a very good goal to have. But goals take time. Goals take patience. On the goal, it could be a long period of time and might require more patience than you may think. But you never know. Some people can endeavor to that anyway. With that being said, I am going to close off this video and this series of talking about the four pillars of education. What did you guys think of this video and of any of the others? If you haven't checked them out, I'd recommend it if you like this video. Speaking of, if you did like it, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. I don't normally do that on these videos, I don't think. I think it's hopped around. I need to make a solidified way to do that. And if, once again, if you do like, really did like this kind of stuff, consider something in the channel. We talked about the psychosocial uh, stages of development. Uh, we've talked about this. We've talked about the five stages of grief. 
Um, we have random discussions on here at times. Over almost 300. Somewhere around 300 of those alone. Just random discussions. Some talk about me. Some talk about Pink Fox. It really depends on the aspect. But for right now, once again, I'm going to leave this here. Check out the links, the link right here if you want to check out the rest of the playlist for this particular series, or the link over here if you, know, you want to find something random that may be on the channel that may fit your liking. If this one didn't quite fit it, hit the nail, hit the dot on the nail, maybe the other video might do you a bit better. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for watching this video and this series, and we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.